Okay, kiddos, and the computer science stuff. Just remember it, it other than me practicing with you and in the in in the UIO, I don't use it as much as I used to. These days you use tiles and um, other types of coding. Um, so I'm trying to I forgot a lot. And last year I did cover it and I forgot all about it. And it should have kicked in when when uh, when I looked at it and it looked like an XOR. Because the first thing that came to my mind was XOR. Well it is XOR and you can do math with XOR. But you remember order up uh up um uh, uh pre uh, the order we do things in computer science is not the same in the order we do in uh, regular math. So actually, this takes presence, precedence over the other. We have to do this part first, the XOR part. Well, here's the thing on XOR. Before we can solve it, we have to put it in some sort of a, a truth form. So we have to convert this to binary. So first we're going to convert two to binary. So what is two binary? Zero, right? One, zero. So that's binary for two. Now we've got to convert three into binary. To solve this, we've got to do this. So three is what? Zero, one, one. Because you've got one, two is three. And then zero, which is two. So that's what you get. So now... In the table, under X or, zero one, remember X or table? Do you remember how that actually works? How, what does the or table look like? All right? Uh, one and one gives you one. Zero and zero gives you zero. One and zero gives you one. And, and zero and one gives you one. X or cuts off the ends. One and one is zero. I mean, one and one gets zero, and zero and zero gives zero, and everything else is a one. Remember that on XOR, the truth table for XOR? Remember that? It's uh, zero, zero gets zero, zero, one gets one, and one and zero gets one, and one and one gets zero. XOR is like OR, except the one thing that changes is one and one does not give you uh one and or all three of these give you one like and you remember all three of these give you zero but this one doesn't okay but x or is like an or so here look at it so zero and one we'll get a one one and one we get a zero zero and zero we get zero now convert it to a decimal to a, uh, a base 10 which is what one now you have your answer. You did this in the parentheses, right? So eight plus one equals nine. And I'm sorry, I've forgotten all about that. Um, this you don't use hardly at all. Matter of fact, that's probably why they stuck it in there because uh, even uh, computer science, when I was going to college, we, 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 I can't even remember maybe one time out of the couple of years that we even talked about this. Now I can, we did a lot of this, adding and subtracting binary, you know, zero, zero is uh, zero, one and one is zero, one, zero, one is zero, and then one is one, and then zero and one is one. I mean, I remember doing that stuff. We did that a lot, I mean, because of converting to, uh, binary, but, Using it in a math problem, that's not something you do a lot of. And you know what? If you can remember this, you got a lot of people that do math. So, um, again, I'm sorry. I forgot about using logic in math. And you got to remember order of presence, with present, with order of operation in computer science is not exactly the same as it is with uh, regular math, you know, dear, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Well, that doesn't exist. It doesn't perfectly exist in um, computer science. So now you know why you got the results that you got. Okay. So um, remember, we got to convert each one of those numbers. When you see this, you got to convert these numbers into binary. Do it in binary. Once you've done it in binary, by using the truth table over here on the XOR. 
then and then you can convert it and if you'll look at it it's just basically it's two from three but you can't go by that because it's how you do the truth table okay so hopefully that was helpful again i'm sorry there's going to be a few more out there that i probably forgotten about and so hopefully i'll try to refresh myself gotcha